Breaking news right now. Someone was shot inside of a busy East Charlotte bar right as they were about to close for the night. We were at Smokey Joe's on Briar Creek Road around 2 o'clock this morning as officers were trying to control the crowd and get everyone out safely. It was a chaotic scene. I can't imagine. Eyewitness News reporter Gina Esposito has been out there for a while now. Gina, you've spoken to people who've been there. Bring us up to speed on what you've learned from investigators. You know, police, they're still looking for the shooter this morning. As for the victim, we're told he's at Atrium Health recovering from his injuries. I've been speaking with a lot of people. Or many people say the regulars come here every Tuesday night and they don't expect something like this. Right now, you can see that there's crime tape up around Smokey Joe's Cafe. We've seen crime scene investigators go in inside that cafe to collect evidence. Uh, we've also been speaking to some witnesses who heard the gunfire and who also saw it. I want to show you some video that we shot earlier right after this happened around two o'clock this morning investigators tell us it all started after two men got into some sort of argument and that one shot the other uh, we don't have the name of the victim yet in this case and police haven't released information about the possible suspect but there were a lot of people inside this bar at the time i spoke with one woman who said that she heard the gunshots listen to what she had to say when i got in the bathroom i heard the shots say pow pow and i crawled on the floor and, when I, and I heard another shot say, pow, pow, so I left from the bathroom on my knees to the storage behind Smokey Joe's counter. Very frightening. You know, nearly a year ago, police were investigating a homicide at the same bar. Investigators say that Jamie Harris was driving when he shot and killed John Sogner. Now, Sogner was standing on the patio bar. Police say that the two didn't know each other. As we come back out here live, police tell me that they are looking for surveillance video at this cafe and as well as surrounding businesses to try to get an identity of that shooter. I spoke with another witness just about 15 minutes ago, and he tells me that he tried to pull the two men away from each other and that after that man was shot, several of the customers here rushed to try to put pressure on that gunshot wound, and they said that they helped until medic arrived. Back to you. Just a terrifying ordeal for everyone. Gina, thank you. Your time is now.